Hey everyone, it is Krisha here. I wanted to record a quick video um, to talk to you about your own personal energy. So we hear like, you know, precious energy. And uh, also at the same time, energy is universal and never expires. So let me talk to you about those two almost conflicting thoughts um but they're all but they're one and the same so because when we think of something that's precious we think of it as finite right um think of precious metals right there's only so many precious metals on the planet um there's only so many um you know, like ideal partners for us, for example. Um, there's only, there's a finite amount of certain things in this world, in this universe that is um, considered precious. And so when we say something like our energy is so precious, um, it doesn't mean that th it is um, finite because energy is infinite. So each and every single one of us is an energetic being. Everything in the world is made up of energy. This has been proven. This is science. This is not some woo-woo, spiritual, whatever, airy-fairy unicorn thing. This is actual science. Everything is made up of energy. It just so happens that we have it in form um, when we when we see it with our eyes and we sense it with our with our touch and stuff like that. We see it as a solid mass, but it's not, right? And it's hard to wrap your head around that because like, how is my sofa a bunch of molecules, right? Like, how do I not fall through the floor of my condo if everything is just energy and there's gaps and space between everything, right? This is the wonderment of, um, of energy. And each and every one of us has our own, um, like, energy that runs through our body. And when I say it's precious... It's because what we end up doing is giving our energy away to things that don't matter, to people who don't respect, honor, or honor us, to worry, fear, anxiety, things that deplete, deplete, deplete us. And so when we're doing that, this precious energy that is infinite it is still very precious. So think of precious like very, very fine crystal. Something that is like so super, um, like you want to handle it in a way with such respect and such reverence. So not precious as in it's finite because it's not, it's infinite. But precious as in... Um, you know, the more you disperse it on things that don't value you, the more that you are going to expend that energy and have um, and 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 have feelings and sensations of unworthiness, of depletion, of exhaustion. So I invite you to take a look at. Where are you dispersing your energy on a day-to-day -day basis? So when you wake up in the morning, um, maybe you can have like an energy um, uh, journal, okay? And just for a couple of days, just observe. Where are you spending your energy, okay? Where are you spending this precious, infinite resource, and it's infinite because if you are spending it on a whole bunch of stuff that you don't want to do, you can see you have endless energy to be able to spend it on those things, right? But at some point, you're getting depleted. At some point, you're like, I can't handle this anymore. This is stupid. Why am I doing this? Um, so look at where you're spending this precious energy. Would you hand this very fine crystal vase, a Fabergé egg, something super, 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 nothing's coming to my mind right now, which is frustrating me. Um, something super fine and, and delicate, delicate, delicate. Would you hand that to like a monkey 
who's then gonna like maybe toss it in, into the, onto the wall, no. And so that's what we do, right? We take our precious energy and then we toss it at people, situations, thoughts, worries, stress that are basically just taking that preciousness and throwing it against the wall and shattering it into a million pieces. And those shards come back and poke at us and make us feel like shit, okay? So really pay attention. Where is your energy going? What are you spending? Spending this precious energy on and can you like stop that <laughs> so if you are spending a good majority of your day in worry um, or doubt or something like that I would start there right and look at ways in which you can start to improve your own self-esteem and self-worth and self-love. And this is what I can help you with. Um, you know, there's so many things and programs and everything out there to be able to help you with this. And really just look, does this thought serve me right now? Is this thought like a monkey that's now throwing my precious um, self-esteem at the wall and shattering it? This thought is not necessary right now. What is a thought that I can think instead to um, bring back that energy and recycle it as something that is more um, of a higher vibration or a higher level of thinking? And you don't have to go from shame all the way to joy. You can go like step by step up into whatever the next sort of elevated emotion is for you or elevated thought is for you. Um, and, and please don't beat yourself up or chastise yourself or anything like that and recognize that that is just your inner judge coming out, um, trying to make you wrong for something. And, and it's not, there's no truth in that. That's just old stories, old stuff, okay? So the next time you notice, oh wow, I'm giving away my energy to another person. I'm trying to convince this person that they're wrong and I'm right. Or I, I, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, when you're trying to get something out of somebody else or help them with something or help them see something or anything like that, that's expending your precious energy on somebody who's taking it and throwing it against the wall like a like a stupid drunk monkey okay so stop doing that and it's the same thing if you're doing that in your own mind i'm so bad at this who you know who am i to to, to do this um I'm not worthy. I'm an imposter. All, you know, all of the thoughts that we think about ourselves, that is the monkey in our mind taking our precious energy and tossing it on the wall for it to shatter. Okay. So think about your energy in that kind of way. It is a very, um, fine, 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 very, um, thin, precious piece of something. And when you give it away to something that's negative or not life enhancing and life affirming, you are giving it to the monkey to throw it up against the wall to, to shatter it into a million pieces, okay? So keep that visual in your mind and, um, you know, just say, like, no monkey, like, give that back to me. I'm now going to stop arguing with this person, stop convincing this person, stop um, being in that space and bring this energy back to me and recycle it as something that is way more positive for myself. And what is a new way I can think of this? What is something positive that I can say to myself that will counter the worry, the fear, the, the, um, the doubt, the, um, the negative uh, belief that I've got and just start there. And the more you do this, the more you're going to create some new neural pathways in your brain and move further away from uh, self-sabotage and, and the conditioned patterns and behaviors that, are, uh, that could be running your life and stopping you from being in your greatness and um, move you more towards your brilliance and how you are meant to be here on this world. So precious, precious energy. It's infinite. It never, ever runs out. And it's also so, so, so precious. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. And um, I would love to hear from you if you have any uh, questions or um, you need some more clarification or ideas or suggestions on how to help support you in this. I'm here for you. Thank you so much. It's Krisha Young.